Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm gonna unbox the latest makeup box uh, that I got in the mail yesterday and have a look and see what's inside. So let's have a look after the intro. So this is uh, November and December makeup box. Uh, in the two month subscription, I'm uh, gonna have a look inside. Uh, there's a coupon code for Capricorn uh, bottom tubes, uh, discount codes uh, for several things. Uh, I'm gonna put them aside. Uh, <coughs> the candy is a uh, Haribo candy. This time, uh, we changed uh, from the jellies to the Haribo. And I like the Haribos better, so I'm happy with that. Uh, there's also a Ninja Tech uh, sticker inside. Uh, but the first filament uh, is. is uh, color fab uh, engine co polyester filament. Uh, this one is uh, uh, engine. Yeah, here it says the engine is color fab answered to PET G being rather thickly. It's a long term durable material with heat resist resistance. Um, this prints. Uh, at 230 to 250 degrees uh, with a bed temperature of 70 to 85 degrees and uh, a part cooling fan at uh, uh, 0 or 30 percent um, it's not abrasive so this is uh, a filament type I haven't tried uh, the next one is uh, from KISS more motos, more talks. I can't say this name. Uh, Gizmo Torks. Um, this is uh, Palm Arkelar Black. Uh, this is some uh, filament type I have not seen before. Uh, palm filament is a uh, extremely strong, durable engineering polymer. Uh, and they say I have a heated enclosure and fume management advised. Uh, so this is something uh, I tried. I haven't seen this type of material before. So I will probably have have a read on on what's uh, suitable use cases for this filament. The next one is from Protopasta, uh, Winter Blue High Heat TPLA. Uh, this is a new uh, new filament from them. Uh, it's a Protopasta Glitter Flake uh, High Temperature PLA. Uh, um, this uh, prints at normal uh, PLA temperature and it's not abrasive. Um, uh, I really like this uh, color. It's, uh, uh, very nice blue color with uh, glitter flakes in, in them. Uh, next filament is uh, from refilament.com. Refill. Uh, this is a recycled PET filament. Uh, prints at 200 to 230 degrees. Uh, and is uh, very transparent uh, green. I sort of like this, uh, this green uh, color. Uh, so this is uh, something I haven't seen before. This this plant. Uh, next one is uh, uh, filamentum gold tapons PLA extra fill. Actually got a roll of this filament uh, already bought because uh, I printed out some Christmas ornaments with this filament to put on the Christmas tree. Uh, this is a PLA that prints at normal PLA temperature and, and is not abrasive. 
and it prints out great and I'm really happy with this filament so this uh, has some uh, gold flickery uh, color, color to it like a metallic uh, look to it uh, next one is, is polyac alchemy I can't say this <laughs> probably uh, elixir night sky uh, this is very dark blue, uh, dark uh, purple color and has excellent uh, shine to it. Uh, this prints at 200 to 220 degrees and it's not abrasive. So this uh, is one of their uh, great shiny filaments. I really love those filaments. I have, I think, three, three colors of them already bought and uh, print out a lot of uh, Christmas things with green and red for this last Christmas. So this is uh, a nice color to add to my collection. I, I think I... Let's see. Yeah, I have a roll of it. <laughs> I haven't opened the box. I bought it uh, but uh, it's unopened. But, so this is this is uh, great, great stuff. <coughs> uh, next one is is from Ninja Tech uh, Armadillo. It's a very deep red color. Uh, it's a uh, prints at uh, 210 to 230 degrees. Uh, and they say here it's uh, similar material properties, uh, me mechanical properties to nylon, but prints like PLA. So this is something I have to test out and see if uh, how the strength is. Uh, um, it is a very dark red color of this sample. Uh, and the last one is is poly smooth transparent. Uh, from Polymaker. Uh, this is the filament that you can use on the, the polish, Polymaker polisher device that uh, creates a mist around the print to smooth it out. Um, you, if you have a look at Chaos Cortec uh, channel, he uses it to smooth out his prints before uh, they paint the models. And it, gives uh, great results and um, saves you on sanding and, and using putty to, to smooth out the layer lines. So this is a sample for that. Uh, um, I will have to try to make a makeshift isopropanol alcohol uh, smoothing device to try out the smoothing <laughs> function. Um, now you see my cat has <laughs> claimed the mega box as usual. Now it's his home <laughs> for the remaining of the day, so I want to uh, try to take him out of the box, but uh, uh, that was the last sample of the box, so uh, there's nothing more in the box. I really like the, they got the Haribo candy, uh, and uh, I'll eat those in a minute, but uh, for now I, I thank you for watching and I'll continue trying those filaments and, and show you my results on how they print and how, how if they were difficult or easy to print and how I liked the outcome. So that will be coming up on the channel pretty soon. So for now I, I thank you for watching and my cats says hello <laughs> to you. So have a nice day.